Hi, Naomi Suzanne from Naomi's Home Health. It's Tuesday and time to do another live on a topic. Um, if you have any questions, please put it in the comments. Say hi, let me know where you're coming from. If you're getting this on replay, put hashtag replay. So today I want to talk about the importance of tapping into our emotional healing because we are energetic emotional beings and focusing on our physical health is just one small aspect of working on what we need to do for our health physical aspect as in terms of nutrition our body what we put into our body whether it be supplements medication and when we're just focusing on that which you know the modern medicine really just focuses on the physical whether we you know our blood tests how they look, um, how our body is developing physically, how it responds to medication, how we take medication. That's sort of the only focus that we have with modern medicine. And it's, it's going to get you not really to the place where you need to go because our emotions affect our physical body. If we are stressed, we have past trauma, we have all these emotional things that we are not addressing, then it's going to affect our physical body, it's going to affect our, our immunity. So at the moment, one of the biggest emotions that is coming up for people is fear and living in fear and stress and worrying about what's going to happen to us and worrying about you know, what we're doing with our immune system and how we can protect ourselves and you know, what's going to be is going to be. What's going to happen to us is going to happen. And if we are not living while we're alive to prevent dying, then it's a very big stress on our life. So I love doing this little, um, it's, I don't know if it's a meditation or an affirmation. It's from this book. Um, can you see it? A lot of you probably have read it. It's from Louise Hay. You can heal your life. And when I first read this book, it resonated with me, but I, I sort of put it down and I put it away and that was kind of it um, because I wasn't ready to deal with the emotional healing side because I was one of those people who just focused on the physical. So the emotional was sort of put always put on the back burner. I didn't want to tap into it because it can be painful to work on your emotions and it's harder and it takes time and energy and all those things. But... It didn't, I, I didn't progress to where I wanted to go until I started tapping into the emotions. So I picked up the book again and started reading it. And now I, I use it as like a, a dictionary or like a little Bible kind of thing. And I refer to it quite often. <clears throat> but one of the things I, I, I knew I needed to do was release a lot of things and let go of a lot of things. And there is a great little exercise in this book called Letting Go. And... It's like a, a little affirmation and what I do is I record myself saying it on my phone and I get to a sentence and I leave a little gap so I can repeat that out loud. So I'll sit with a, with a cup of cacao with my honey and peppermint and frankincense in it and I sit with my hand on my heart for our heart space, our energy, our, our heart chakra to connect with my heart. And I repeat this affirmation over and over. I put the um, recording on repeat and I might repeat it for, you know, five to ten minutes. And I take, I, I start off and I'll, I'll show you, I'll give you the actual words and I'll show you what I do. And you can then either write it down and record yourself or you can use this recording. Feel free. So I, I put my hand on my heart and I take some really deep breaths. Now, when you take deep breaths, you inhale into your stomach so relax your shoulders relax your body and take a deep breath you shouldn't see your shoulders move too much but you should see your belly you need to relax your stomach muscles because you know we're all told to hold our stomach muscles in all the time for our physical appearance but you need to sit and relax you can lay down if you want whatever's comfortable for you and take in some deep breaths down into your stomach and, and make sure you release it. Sorry, I'm not relaxed here. I've got the book between my legs. <clears throat> you can see your chest move, but you shouldn't be doing this. 
always breathing in through your nose and out through your nose. This is your filtration system as well. So you want to cool the air down, warm the air up, sorry, <laughs> warm the air up and filter it as it goes through and out. So taking these deep breaths and this is, I'll, I'll leave a little gap so you can repeat after me or you can go and write it down and then record it yourself. So say to yourself, I am willing to let go. I release. I let go. I release all tension. I release all fear. I release all anger. I release all guilt. I release all sadness. I let go of all old limitations. I let go and I am at peace. I am at peace with myself. I am at peace with the process of life. I am safe. And you should feel the ease of letting go. Just stay relaxed and calm. Your mind might wander off, but really start to bring it back. Bring your attention back to your breath if you need to. Bring your attention back to the words. And just repeat it a few times over. And it becomes a, a bit of a routine. You can even say it while you're walking around the house during the day. But the whole um, hand on the heart connecting to the words is a really, really good way to start releasing some of your energetic, you know, your emotional feelings that are happening in your body because avoiding the emotional healing is blocking your physical healing. Do you ever feel like, you know, you might have a headache all the way up the back of your neck, you might have a sore neck, you know, we hold tension in our body. So during the day, remind yourself to relax your shoulders, your jaw, your eyebrows, your forehead, your neck. Because I know I used to be like this all the time. I'd wake up like that. Um, these are, you know, some little exercises that you can check in with yourself during the day. So, you know, just let your shoulders relax. Because if we are tense, our body is tense and we're going to start feeling it in our body. Um, you know, we might get a sore knee. Lots of things can be an emotional buildup in our body. And I've, I've shared, um, I did a video with my friend Sonia a few weeks ago in this group. Go back and have a look at that video because she talks a lot about the effects our emotions have in our body and how you can start to unplug trauma and all those sorts of things to help move forward in your health, in your healing journey. So if you're, remember, if you're just going to focus on the physical and what medication you need and what the doctor says and all of those, you know, we need, when we're initially healing, we, we need medication and, and all those sorts of things. It's not, I'm not saying don't do them, but I am saying look at the broader picture because integrating our healing with Modern medicine and natural practices is going to get us further than anything. If you're going to be very tunnel vision and just look down the path of modern medicine, you're going to either come to a, a standstill, you're going to even probably get worse. Sometimes we need to have that big crash before we can get back up the hill. But when you are healing, there is a lot you need to focus on and take into consideration and just focus on one thing at a time. Start with the physical healing. Maybe fix your nutrition or improve your nutrition, um, but just focusing on that medication and that whole medical, what, you know, the pill's not going to fix you. That, that pill's not going to make you feel better. It might initially, you know, give you back a bit of energy, take away some of your symptoms. It may do absolutely nothing. You might be told forever that your uh, lab work, your your bloods are normal and you feel like crap constantly. You have 20 different symptoms and you're feeling really unwell. That's your body saying, this. I need more than this. I need more than this little pill. 
you need to focus on all aspects of healing. We are a physical body. We have emotional health. We have mental health and we have spiritual health. We need to connect to all of them, whether we like to or not, whether we believe it or not. It is part, we are, we are, we do have that in our body. And for so long, we have been conditioned to feel that it's just the physical journey. It is just, if you, if you go gluten free and you take your medication, you'll be right. It's so, it couldn't be further from the truth. Um, so go through a lot of the posts in this group, the videos. There's a lot of things on emotional, emotional healing. If you need support with your emotional health, Use some essential oils, crystals, whatever it is that you're into, uh, meditation, breathing, connecting with the breath, connecting with your body. If you are just focusing on, on the physical body and how you can externally fix it, but you're not connected in here, you, you, again, you're not really going to get anywhere. I always use essential oils to help me connect with what I I'm doing emotionally and it definitely, it's not, you know, it's not going to heal me, but they are facilitating my healing. All these things, the meditation, the emotional cleansing, unblocking, it is facilitating the healing at a cellular level and physical health is only improved when we fix all the other aspects of our healing. It's a big link. If you're just going to have this little link, it, this little part of the link, you're not going to get anywhere. You need to get right around the circle and, you know, work on each part. So do one at a time. Don't rush into it and go, I've got to fix everything. I need to, you know, physical, emotional, all of that. Start with the physical if that's where you're comfortable and start working on the nutrition, reducing toxicity, and then, you know, move to the mental health, move to the emotional, whatever you are comfortable with move on to next does that resonate with any of you if it does like this post you know give me a little yes tell me what does and doesn't resonate with you and there are so many people out there that can help us with all aspects of our healing there are people who specialize in emotional health people who specialize in the physical i have a program that i have come up with that is coming out it t touches on all of these areas I'm going to be, you know, you're going to be working on, if you do my program, you'll be working on all of it, but very gently and one at a time. It is something that you need to learn um, in your own time, but just focusing on the food and the medication is just one little small aspect. So if this resonates with you, please, you know, tell me below, tell me what you're thinking, because um, I know... It, on my own journey, it was all about the physical. And it took me a couple of years. I was just focusing. I was going to doctors, 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 and banging my head against the wall. And they just kept telling me I was, it was just depression and anxiety. And that's when I started working on the physical out externally from modern medicine, where, the, where, where it was nutrition and reducing toxicity. They were the things that I started with. And they did help. But it was like, I still need more. I'm still not well. I want to be normal again and feel like everyone else is feeling. And, or how I thought everyone else was feeling. A lot of people are unwell as, as well, but we don't, we don't know that. So, um, one of my mentors, Penny, focused a lot on the emotional health and she kept on shoving it in my face. Thank gosh. And, um, I finally, you know, connected with that and really started to work on myself, loving the self, um, you know, do, doing all those sorts of things. It all comes back to you. It all comes back to yourself because external influences are facilitating, but you are healing yourself. So if that resonates with you, let me know. Please go through the other posts and videos in this group because they all connect. They all help you in some way and just focus on one thing at a time. Make one change at a time.